Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Minecraft SMP. I have just logged onto the server. It's just me, Blame the controller, and Pyro. Although BTC appears to be uh, AFK. Um, Pyro and I have determined that. He hasn't chatted in a while, according to Pyro. So I'm wondering where he is in, in body and not mind, because I would like to find his body and prank him while he is away. But there's somebody... Something walking and if it's a creeper hey it's a creeper i want to blow up my new house dude all right it's gonna do the moon dance maybe i can take this opportunity to shoot you yes i may whoa back you fiend all right no admittance except on party business Anybody read these days? <laughs> yeah, so we need to think up an idea to get a video back who has pranked me with the chickens. So I have an idea, in fact. Although I don't know where a video lives, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'll head down to the nub. The nub. <laughs> That's short for Nether Hub. We'll head to the nub today. It will rub the nub. These are all my Christmas gifts. Which I am loath to use. Because I like to do things legitimately. Although I am going to make one concession here with this. And I think that's what we're going to do today. As I want to dig through. I'm going to head over to the nub. I need to locate my... Uh, my I guess, gateway down there. I don't even know if I have one, if one's been assigned to me yet. And start a digging. I'm just going to mine straight through. Find our new home. But before we do that, let's just go down here. And, wow. The mushrooms are going to be part of my retaliation prank. So I need lots and lots of mushrooms. All right, so let's see, what are we gonna do? Where are my mushrooms? Oh, they're in the they're in the pantry, in the larder. Over here, and... Oh, I was gonna do an object frame today. Yeah, let's do the object frame. My first baked potato. It'll be my first piece of decoration on the server. Um, let's do that now. Whoops. Cold down here right now in my basement, in my man cave. So my fingers are all numb. Gotta crank up the heat. The problem with the cranking up the heat down here is it makes a lot of noise. The, the uh, hot water through the pipes. And you can hear it. So I try to avoid turning on the heat too high. <laughs> Alright, how's that spot for my first tater tot? These are compliments of good boulder fist. The originator of the server. There we go. Thanks, good. That looks nice right by the fire. Tater tot. And that's it for my leather. Otherwise, I'd do some more decorating. But I have to do the floor. The floor, the floor, the floor. And my... My initial thought... Was, um... Cactus green. Wool. So I gotta get some cacti... Here and I have to get. Um, I've got to get. Uh, oh shoot, some wool. <laughs> I don't have any wool. I think I've got like four or five pieces. So I may have to go back to that sheep place where I found the sheep in the last episode. Yeah, where's all my wool? Oh, here it is, right? I've only got five. So I will need more than that. But I don't think I'm gonna do the entire floor wool. I might do like a carpet down the middle here this is a dark green and then I might do cobble or stone brick on the sides um, I'm not sure let me well, let's get the cactus cooking up here the cactus was roaring on the high yeah, I really need to watch that. 
I'm going to sing that entire song for you guys eventually. Once I learn the words, I, <laughs> I just bought the album, Howard Shore, Hobbit. And uh, Misty Mountain song is pretty sweet. Um, but uh, I don't know the whole thing yet. They, they changed it up from the book, actually. They skipped a whole bunch. The, the song in the book is like a page and a half long. And some of the words that they throw in there, uh, they're, the, the parts that they do have in the book, uh, in the movie, are, are real, or actual uh, verses, I guess. But, um, but they're not exact. They do change up some of the words. Eh, nah. I don't know how this is going to look. I could do stone bricks. But a cobble floor for a hobbit ain't too shabby. Hmm. Alright, let's go back over here. Grab my cactus green. And I'm just going to put some of this down right here in the center to take a look. Um. Oh, we're playing. This is the new snapshot, by the way. And I've, I find that the snapshot is a little flaky when trying to get items out of your crafting cells. You can't double click as quickly as you used to be able to. It doesn't look half bad, does it? It ain't half bad at all. Wow. Actually, I like it. Breaks up the cobble. Cobble's easy to come by. Um, the biggest problem for me is going to be finding more wool. And I do not have any more. Huh. The cactus have grown already, so that won't be an issue. And, alright, well, let's do that. So, these were here when I moved in. These cactus here. And I almost got rid of them, but I decided to keep them, which was a good thing. But what I might do is... Take this opportunity to grow a whole bunch more for now. So by the time I get back, I'll have more to play with. That's good. Right, let's get some wood, and then we're going to go on our journey. Um, we're going to go. Let's go through the Nether. Let's go. Let's do that today. I think the flooring can wait. I think I, I want to try to find a spot today. And as we travel through the nether, depending on how far these guys have already traveled in the nether and which direction they've gone in, because we're playing with the snapshot on the server, um, I may encounter some of the new nether quartz. Hey. What's wrong with that tree? It's a dud. It's just a dud. What the heck is that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? What is this? Chickens. More chickens and feathers. All right. This is not mine, folks. Uh, Farlander. Oh, okay. Farlander. That's, uh, that's Kurt. Farlander Incorporated. Humane Fowl Extermination. <laughs> <laughs> More foul deeds here on my front walk. And Shire Front, fried chicken stand. New convenient location, same great service. <laughs> the one thing we have to do here... Oh, I'm taking the feathers. You know, who's going to eat a feather? I'll leave the chickens for people. If anybody wants to come by and grab a chicken, feel free. Oops, yeah, I could take a couple extras, I guess. But I'm going to supplement these chickens. I actually had an idea for this. I know he's like the chicken man. And he makes these stands around the server. But Avidia had mentioned something about the same thing. A fried chicken stand. But then I thought, how about if I do instead of a fried chicken stand. Or a fried chicken stand in addition. Um, uh, uh, tater tots. So I was going to do a fried chicken and tater tot stand. 
I was gonna grab this. I might as well. I could use the snowballs. Um, so what I think what I'll do is I'll throw once I get a potato farm going, and I'm not gonna do that here. I'm gonna do that at my base. I mean, a strong potato farm. I might get some small potato farm going here. Then I will. Uh, dang it! This things grow fast. Then I'll supplement the chicken with tater tots, and I'll have to change the name, of course. Hmm, how can I do that? Farlander Incumane. Well, maybe I'll make my own stands somewhere else. That's what I'll do. I'll make my own tater tot stands. Shire Inc. Okay, very funny, Mr. Kurt J. Mack. Thanks for the chickenses. And lots more feathers. I can make a bunch of arrows. Okay, so we don't need you. What do we need for this trip? This epic journey. Epic journey through the nether. Um, eggs? Well, I could bring this for lava, but there's no sense in bringing water. All right, so we have some... See how I'm doing this? I'm clicking as fast as I can. It's just not... I don't know if that's by design or if that's been brokened or something. Of course, you can shift click, but I don't want to use all that wood right now for that. And, wow. All right, well, I guess I'll just. Oh! Do I have a chest in my bedroom? Do you guys see my bedroom yet? There's a bed. That's about it. All right, I will put the spare wood in here. Um, oh, what the heck. All right, let's just change that whole thing up. That's fine. We'll make some more sticks. 30 torches. I've got food. I need armor. I've got eight, eight iron. So that's enough for a chest plate. There we go. It's the best I can do. Little damage mitigation there. Can't go wrong with that. I will bring the chests. Oh, yeah. Check this out. This is uh, uh, an undo. Well, I guess it's documented, but it's not very well known. If you point toward an item in your inventory and press a number in your keyboard, it'll swap it. So I'm pressing one right now, which is pretty cool. There's a bunch of other shortcuts that I, I don't recall. I tried them all out, and they were cool and everything, but. Um, I just don't remember what they are. All right. Well, I guess it's off to the nether, my friends. I don't know what else I would need. This is like... Going to the frontier. Off to the new world. To the nub. I shall return and finish up that floor. I'm not a fan of leaving projects half-finished. Goodbye, chicken! Whatever your name is. Okay, now, let's get over to the nub. Do you guys hear that? Sheeps. I hear sheeps. I think it's coming from this castle. Hmm. Well, that's not going to provide any light. So <laughs> Somebody made a boo-boo. And let's go check out... The castle. I, is this Beef's castle? There's no sign on the front. Hmm. I don't know who it belongs to, but there's definitely sheep inside. So I think we should get some wool. What do you say? Wool grows back, right? Whoever belongs to... Shouldn't be too upset, but I don't have any shears. So let's see what we got. Oh! Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> we just have to find them. <laughs> I hear them. Oh, down there. Bet they're down there. Now, how do I get down there? There we go. Whoa! All right, this is clearly unfinished, but here's a bunch of sheep. And let's go share them. Don't tell the boss. All right, guys. 
pretty sure this is Beef's Castle. I could be wrong. All right. Thank you. 18 wool. Not too shabby. Ooh. I could enchant while I'm here, but yeah, once again, that's something I want to do on my own. It's just my style is all. And we'll put these back, and they were right there. Perfect. Okay, I'll even close the doors. Oh! <laughs> I've been had! There it is. Alright, to the nub we go. Goodbye, spawn town. Alright, now... Oh, somebody put up signs. I was actually going to do that. Remember, I don't know, well, quite a while ago, I had gotten lost. I went through the wrong portal, ended up... Oh, here's the portal I went through. I was standing on some high shelf with nothing on beneath, uh, beneath me. And that went to Goodland, apparently. So I said, I'm going to label those. Looks like somebody else took care of it for me. That's cool. All right, so here's what I have to do. I need to pick, like, one of these tunnels here. I need to make my own. Uh, these are clearly all spoken for. Oh, well, well, well. Well, now I know how to get to Avidia's place. I'm not quite ready to do the prank, but I have a good idea. B-dubs. B-dubs is here. Um, whoa. Okay, well, all right. Well, let's just keep that in mind. Like I said, I have a plan that involves mushrooms. I'm just not ready. Not ready to carry it out quite yet. All right, I, I'm going to have to ask B-dubs because I don't really know. These are obviously all spoken for, but there's got to be another hub somewhere where I can go. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, cool. It's like a new second floor. Is that what this is? Move into the nether. Gonna eat me lots of peaches. Actually, I'm gonna move to the country. I'm not gonna live in the nether. Move into the country, gonna eat me lots of peaches. I think that's the real, those are the real words, right? All right, let me uh, let me check with the with B Dubs because uh, I don't really know where I should start. Hang on. All right, I I believe this is the new section right here. B Dub says in the lower section of the hub with the chandelier. And it looks like maybe these are unspoken for. There's, there's signs here. Oh! <laughs> Rip! <laughs> uh, have a nice trip. See you next fall. Whoops. Uh, I think these must be the ones. Alright, he's going to check though. Let's check it out. I should just get him on Skype. There's dubs. Stop. All right, this right here, I guess, is the one. Okay. Nice. Okie dokie. Wish me luck, bro. Can't spell today. All right, so I will take um, hmm, take a corner unit. Blame the controllers here. Let's see who's on my right. Godspeed. <laughs> uh, bash on that side. So we'll, wait, wait, we got Doc. Hit the fence. All right. Why don't we? This one's fine. Right here. We'll go right next to Blame. He's the last guy that joined before me, so I will stick with him. Look at this. I get a button with some rail. These guys are all... These guys are on the ball, man. Okay. Well, let's do it. 
this is it. I'm just digging. And thankfully I have this. Whoa. This suck it can really punch a hole, can it? Um, the one thing I need to be careful of, obviously, is... Oh, I should have brought some flint. Oh, you know what? I still don't have obsidian, so... This is going to be a short trip. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere without the obsidian. So maybe... Um, that was the last thing I had said I was going to do, which I obviously completely forgot about. Um, I can turn here. I can make a rail, or is this blames? So that's blames. So that's not going to work. So how about if... I'm going to have to get the obsidian anyway. I can't go anywhere without it. I mean, I could dig here forever, but it's going to be pointless. So why don't we do that? I know I'm just going to fall right into some lava. Are there particles on? Ay! Caramba. There we go. Just in case I happen to hit something above me. Alright, all right, why don't we do that? I'm going to have to... Um, completely forgot about the obsidian. I mean, I, I can dig through here all day, but I'm not going to be able to get to the surface world without making myself a portal. So... I'm going to go back. I'm going to have to go underground. We're going to have to get some obsidian. So I'm going to have to find, uh, I guess, the local the local ravine or something. Some kind of cavern down here that has, has some obsidian down in it. And let's take this down. Put the sign up. And we shall claim it as our own. And will my name fit? Yes, it shall. All right. Cool. Well, then let's go do that. Let me go find somewhere to get some uh, some goodies. Obsidian. And I'll have to get my flint, obviously. And then, um, and then we'll pick up from there. Back to the spawn village. Now, there is a... I always forget about that lava right there. There is... There's a cavern beneath my hobbit hole. And I had dug down and I opened up into it. Someone else had already been down there. So let's start there at the very least. Alright, here we go. This is the bottom. At least as far as the tunnel goes. There's hobbit hole up there. And it sounds like some of the chickens have escaped. And, yeah, you know what I said? I know. I said I was just going to use my tools for this. So let's just do that. I'll spare the diamond for digging through the nether. So we'll go at least 99% legit. But I could certainly use this coal. And we currently are on, let's see, level 28. So we're down where we could find some obsidian. Natural obsidian, anyway. I haven't really explored down here very much. Oh, there's lava right there. Perfect. I'm going to need some of these mushrooms for my... Uh, my plan, my prank plan. So the more the better. Some chicken down here. What are you doing? You here to take a little sauna? I can help you with that chicken. There you go. Just gonna check the temperature for me, the old fashioned way. All right, now. I'm going to grab, hopefully, well, let's see what we got here. Any lava beneath it? Nope. All right, this is going to take some time. Well, maybe not. This is a nice pick. Efficiency, efficiency four. That's pretty darn good. All right, let me gather what I need, and I will be right back. All right, we're back topside in the Hobbit Hole, safe and sound, and there we go. All the iron that I had found is now cooked. We've got 31 pieces of iron ore, and I think we're ready to roll. 
So what I'd like to do with this is just uh, make up a bit more armor. And I've got flint and steel. I've got my 10 obsidian. I've got my iron pick. I've got some torches. I've got some extra coal. I think we are definitely um, all geared up and ready to roll. Let's at least make... Oops. Let's make some pantaloons. There we go. Iron leggings. We'll make a helmet. And we'll make some booties. And I think... Let's see. I've got the bucket. So let's... Um, um, what else am I going to need with the iron? Flint and steel. Uh, I think we're good. Oh, well, I guess I could... Well, I'll carry it with me. I'm probably going to make another... Well, let's make an iron pick, at least. Let's make an iron pick. Ugh, that's annoying. And... I'm going to use that. That'll be my legitimate pick, and the other one will be my illegitimate pick. And now we're ready. Let's do it. Far over the misty mountains cold To dungeons deep and caverns old We must away ere break of day to find our long forgotten gold The pines were roaring on the high The winds were moaning in the night The fire was red, it flaming spread the trees like torches blaze with light. All right. Now, if that doesn't set the mood, I don't know what would. Okay. So that's my Thorin Oaken Shield and, uh, well, I guess 13 dwarves in chorus. Or 12, right? Yeah. Um, I had no chorus. So it was just me. Acapella. That's my acapella. I could use a little hmm, hmm, hmm in the background, though. So if anybody wants to join me in an acapella with a little hmm, hmm, hmm let's set it up. <laughs> All right. Now, if you don't know what that's from, you're probably like, what the devil is he doing? That's the that's the song. Listen to the trailer, the Hobbit trailer. And that's the one. One of them, anyway. So Thorin Oakenshield sings his song with his... Uh, party of dwarves and I always get lost finding the stupid hub and um, yeah they're in Bilbo's hobbit hole they sing the song because they want to go back to the lonely mountain and they need a thief to steal back their gold from Smog the dragon and oh wait a minute yeah it's through here right yeah 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 yes yes between these two pillows those aren't pillows I mean two buildings right and that's essentially what The Hobbit is all about. And they go back to Erebor, right? Is that the name of the, the uh, dwarf hold? Mm -hmm. They've got to go over the Misty Mountains. Through Mirkwood. And I... I yeah, well, here it is. Just not, that, I know that's it. It's just not there yet. There it is. Okay. Um, I should have grabbed some more chickens for this. I think we should be good. We'll find some mushrooms. All right then. So down here, and we shall dig, 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 dig. Ah, oh, hey, that's me. Um. Okay. <laughs> sure, I've got my flint. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this will be a Middle Earth inspired land when I find it. I'm on my way to reclaim Lonely Mountain, and that indeed, my friends, is what I'm going to build as my base. Middle Earth inspired um, land. Um, it's going to be. I'm, I, I want to find actually a real. Ugh, I'm going to need more of this right now. Like a mountain with a lake in front of it, a river. And then. Um, this is a pain. 
And then uh, hopefully this mountain, in a perfect world, anyway, this mountain will have a ravine under it or somewhere close. I would like to have an underground ravine. I just adore underground ravines. I think they're the coolest. And not only a ravine, but a um, maybe a mine shaft in it. That would be kind of poetic, having a mi an abandoned mine shaft, which my eyes have always have been uh, they're kind of dwarvish, right? Mine shafts in Minecraft. So that would work out well for me. Um, a stronghold would be even more fantastic. Oh, I'm still on the wrong level here. But we'll see. But definitely I have to find a mountain. That's one of the first things I'm going to be looking for. With uh, a body of water nearby. And that will be the Lonely Mountain. And then we're going to build a Dwarven Stronghold within. Reclaim our forgotten gold. That song, by the way, is just a very small portion of the real of the whole song in The Hobbit, the book. And in fact, they cut out so much of it. When you first hear it, when they're like, the pines were roaring, you're like, wait a minute, pine. All right, it sounds like they're at a feast, having a good time, and there's a big party, and there's a giant fire, and it sounds cozy and warm, but no, 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 no. <laughs> it might have been warm, but I don't think it was cozy. The fires were the, the burning trees on the mountainside that Smog had burned when he was destroying Erebor, the dwarven hold. Yes, my inner nerd is definitely shining through here. The Middle Earth is one of my favorite places. And I asked on Twitter not long ago, I said, if you could have, if you could live in any one location. Huh. Huh. Okay, intersection. If you could live in one of your favorite, uh, like a fic world of fiction, let's put this here, what would it be? If I fall here and lose my obsidian, I'm going to be angry. So where, if you had a choice, if you could live in any fictional world, be it a book, movie, um of popular fiction. You know, nothing made up. What would it be? Put it down in the comments, I'm curious. But for me anyway, it would definitely be it would be Middle Earth. <laughs> I suppose that's not much of a surprise to you, considering the amount of time I've spent talking about it. But that's only because the Hobbit is out right now. I, I wouldn't normally be talking about it this much, and I wouldn't have made a Hobbit hole. Good as new. Won't even notice. Well, they might. Whoever it is. Okay. We'll just put this here to let them know that there's a tunnel down here. Don't dig down. Thank you kindly. Alright, continue on. So I'm just going to keep going this direction, and I'll let you know when I'm ready to build the obsidian, uh, when I build the portal back to the surface. And then we'll go in search of Lonely Mountain together and find a long-forgotten gold. Vinny, look over here. This might sting a little. I hope that got you. Eat. Oh, it did. Good, 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 good. Ooh, trembling, trembling with pain.